Coming from the crossroads, this is the Rock Hour with DJZ, your rock ambassador. Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? How are all you music lovers, thrill seekers, and conversationalists across the fruited plain? You are listening to UTRGV Radio, the Valley Student Station. I, of course, am Z, your rock ambassador. We've got a show for you today. Right now, outside our studios, it is 86 degrees, sunny, a little windy. And, well, uh, what do you expect? If spring is here, summer is coming, is we're going to start getting to that weather where it just becomes hot all the time and sunny, and your next day is going to be hot and sunny. You want, uh, you want some cold weather or anything like that, you're going to have to go inside to the air conditioning or turn the AC down on your car. We've got a show for you today. You ever been kicked out of somewhere? Ever been kicked out of a country, a town, uh, a store? Well, we got a show about being kicked out. Uh, of course, we're going to go through some bands and things here. Other than that, we got a show for you today. We got some sticks playing for you. We're going to have some Judas Priest, Shine Down, Bring Me the Horizon, Papa Roach, Quiet Riot. Maybe if we have time, we'll get to the Beastie Boys. So let's get this show started. No further ado, and we'll be back with that list of people that got kicked out of countries or wherever it is that they could not go. Welcome back, everyone. Unlike other people, I don't have half a brain tied behind my back. I need my whole brain out front. The time is now 514, and with that whole brain brain being out in front, I hope you are taking a break from your studies. I hope as you're driving down the expressway, you're being safe. You're coming home from work. And, of course, whatever it is you're doing, unless you're driving... Enjoy your favorite beverage, unless that beverage is water and you are driving or a soda or some kind of pop, then that's okay. So we're hoping that that's good for you as you're driving down the road. Ever been kicked out of somewhere like I was mentioning earlier? Uh, Let's see here. Well, not that I have, maybe a hockey game or two. Um, <clears throat> just saying, you know, that there was a time when I was actually young. I don't know about you all, but, uh, you know, some people weren't born young. Others were, went through that, that brief, uh, brief childhood or young adulthood, as we all called it. Now let's talk about some bands here. Let's talk about Led Zeppelin. They were kicked out of, out of all places, Singapore back in 1972, why? Well, I guess at that time they were trying to push back against this evil rock and roll that we have nowadays. Back then it was just rock and roll. Um, nowadays it is much something uh, much different. We got, you know, all kinds of heavy metal and everything else. Well, part of that culture had to do with long hair. So they told the band, hey, unless you cut that hair, you cannot come in. Well, of course, they didn't cut their hair. And of course... All the fans were up in a hissy about not being able to see their favorite band play. But that's all right. I guess later on they were able to uh, to uh, take that band away. And I guess uh, they were able to go play music later on throughout the years. Another one, Cannibal Corpse. Not too sure how you're, if you're familiar with that band or not. An extreme heavy metal band there, Cannibal Corpse. Well, they were banned from Germany. Australia, and Russia. Okay, now where do we start with this one, though? Okay, well, uh, the, you know, they've, of course, been playing uh, pretty graphic content in some of their songs. And, of course, uh, starting in 1996, uh, let's hear, they started a band, wait, band in Germany in 2006 because of their content. And even today in Germany, their albums are only sold to those that are 18 years of age or older. I would say not to minors or not to children, but who knows? Maybe there's a 30-year-old children out there. So, yeah, uh, 18 or older. And Russia was a little trickier situation. Um, let's see here. They got kicked out, of course, for uh, they had religious protests against them in Russia. Okay, I can't tell you how Russia, you know, does their their governing or how their country really is. But uh, religious protest got them kicked out of the country. So 
Yep, they were banned in their artwork. Everything by them is uh, was banned. Here's a group for you. You would think these guys would never get banned from from anywhere, you know, with their little suits and their ties on and, and just out there, you know, just playing away. The Beatles. Well, this is before their whole uh, uh, psychedelic music came in. This is when they were the Beatles and playing, of course, in suits. They were banned from Israel back in 1964. Well, um, what happened was is that uh, they their music wasn't quite in hand with that of the governing body of Israel at the time, they thought that they would just bring about too much uh, discord and uh, just, they had no artistic merit and they would cause hysteria among the youths. Uh, for other people, there's, uh, for for people in, uh, in other areas, that is called youths. Not youths, but youths. So they were banned from there weren't allowed to play. And of course, there's Behemoth. Well, they went to Russia in 2014, and I guess they got thrown in jail. They were arrested and thrown in jail. They are a Polish death metal band, and uh, they were deported, of course. Uh, Well, same thing. Their lyrics... And the way they played their music, I guess Russia didn't like them, threw them in jail, and deported them. Um, from there on out, they faced a five-year ban from uh, from being uh, being able to play in Russia. I don't know if they've gone back since, and if they did, maybe the uh, Russia has just been more open about it. Who knows? Uh, another ban, the Rolling Stones. Out of all places, guess where they got kicked out of? Now, this was way back in 1967 and 1970. That is when Mick Jagger had some drug charges against him. Uh, Well, of course, for doing drugs and having drugs. So uh, they didn't like his criminal record. I guess they did a background check or maybe they just watched the Daily Sun. Is is that even out anymore? is, Is that a magazine? Is that a real thing? Well, who knows? But the Daily Sun... They didn't like his drug charges, so they put him on a blacklist. It wasn't till 17 years later that Japan let the Rolling Stones go back in and play their music for the masses of Japan. So everything they had to do is through record sales or radio back then. Don't know how the radio worked. Of course, nowadays we got social media. We got the internet and the interweb, as some may call it. Also, Lamb of God. They were banned from Malaysia in 2013. Well, of course, they were playing blasphemous content. The mentioning of the Quran and in some of their songs and in the way they play, well, that got them banned from, from Malaysia. They didn't quite like that. So, uh, well, they kicked them out. Didn't like him there. Hey, can't come back in. All right, we've got some more tidbits for you. Enough of the talking. Let's get you going down the road. Let's take that music break. Let's uh, free up that brain for some music here a little bit. Enjoy that uh, Enjoy that beverage, whatever it may be. And if you're driving, let's hope it's a soda pop or water or something of that nature. All right, everybody, here we go. More music. Have fun. Be safe. Hello everyone, this is DJ Fallout, reaching out to you from the Fallout Shelter. I'm here to help you get through this crazy world that we live in and find out what comes next. Let's listen to some classic gems and get through this together. Tune in and listen live every Thursday at 11 a.m. here on Maketo Radio, the Valley Student Radio Station. Coming from the crossroads. This is the Rock Hour with DJZ, your Rock Ambassador.
Good afternoon, everyone. How is everybody doing? It is still 86 degrees outside our Edinburgh studios. 531. I hope wherever it is you're going, you're getting there quick and you're getting there safe. If you're taking a break from your studies, hey, time flies and you're having fun. This is the quickest hour on the on the radio. Okay, going back to our list. Well, let's see here. I have here my formerly stained nicotine hands a list for you. Okay, we got Cradle of Filth. Come on, it says it in the name, Cradle of Filth. Well, they were banned from China. Like I said, it says it in their name right there, Cradle of Filth. Well, well it's not to understand. Okay, well, anyway, they had to turn, turn in their lyrics to their songs to the government of China. Well, some of the songs were deleted. Others, they had to change uh, uh, lyrics and some of the words in, in, in their songs. Well, uh, later on in 2013, they were just outright banned. No explanation given. The only one was they were deemed unsuitable. Okay, Fred Durst. Well, of course, he's from Limp Biscuit. Well, I, I, I guess they don't like uh, Limp Biscuit too much. Well, anyway, he was playing, he was uh, banned from Ukraine. And the reason they banned him from Ukraine, uh, this was back in 2015, well, uh, you know, they were still dealing with political issues of their own. The 2014 revolution of the Russian uh, annexation of Crimea, you know, and all that other good stuff. Well, he, he made it public that he was thinking about moving to Crimea. Well, I guess Ukraine and Crimea, you know, they're mortal enemies. They didn't like that too much. So they told him, you know what, you're going to go move to Crimea. You're no friend of ours. Get out of here. So uh, they, they kicked him out of the country. Uh, so that's that's what happened to him. Well, how about Ramstein? Yes, from the makers of Du Host. One of their more popular songs here in America. Well, they're from Germany. They were banned from Germany. They weren't kicked out or anything like that. But uh, they have a song that in its title is one of those seven words that I cannot say here on the radio. Uh, just think about George Carlin and the seven words and, and uh, pick one of them. I'm not going to tell you which. This is uh, family-friendly radio here. So anyway, they said they couldn't have their album on display in that country because it uh, sent the wrong message. And on top of that, it could not be on display. They didn't promote it. They couldn't uh, go on tour with that album. And, well, what else could they not do? Uh, anybody 18 and older or 18 and 17 and younger could not buy the album. So, of course, you had to be 18 and over to buy the album, and you had to say you wanted to go into the record store and buy that album. So, uh, yeah, that's what uh, happened there. Okay, how about this one? Uh, I know I'm kind of aging myself right here, but the Kinks. Yes, the Kinks, our, our, our favorite song. She, uh, you know, with our, with our favorite gal, Lola. And don't understand why she walks like a woman but talks like a man. Yes, that's our Lola, all right. Well, they were banned from the USA. We banned the kinks. Okay, so basically uh, we banned them from 1965 through 1969. Well, because for one, on one of the more popular shows there, oh, it's... This was during the 60s when all those TV shows, rock bands, everybody was playing. Uh, the Kinks would get on stage and fight. Um, they would either fight the audience or fight themselves. And they caused a big ruckus uh, on one of those shows. It was in black and white. You know, chairs were being thrown. The audience was, everybody was fighting. It was a big brawl inside one of the shows. They had to cut that off. They went to commercial break. And... Uh, well, that's just the way the kinks were. I guess they were the first, uh, one of the first, you know, people out there to cause mayhem. So uh, they didn't get along with the uh, the music industry here with America. So uh, we, we kicked them out there for a little while. Okay, now this is, uh, this is a remake here we're going to play for you. This is The Sounds of Silence by Disturbed. And as promised, we got some more music coming up for you. See their shine down sticks. And you know what? We're going to do some Beastie Boys for you just because I mentioned them. 
That was Avatar with The Eagle Has Landed on Vaquero Radio, the Valley Student Station. You are listening to Z, your rock ambassador, and this is the Rock Hour with Z. Please tell all of your friends to listen to us on utrgvradio.com or download the Radio FX app. Look for Vaquero Radio and set us as your favorite station. Yes, I do have a national audience, believe it or not. I know I have some friends out there listening. In, in Florida and upwards of Tennessee and perhaps even Chicago and who knows where else. So thank you for listening to this show. We've got a few more bands here for you. We are coming up to the top of the hour, which unfortunately means the end of the show. And like I said, time flies and you're having fun. This is the fastest hour in radio broadcast time. All right, well, let's hear. we got Carcass. Well, what's wrong with a bunch of vegans uh, taking lyrics from medical books? Well, apparently something was wrong because uh, they were banned in Malaysia. And, uh, well, this is a uh, letter to the fans. It says, sorry, Malaysia, no show for you guys in May. Seems like your government officials still haven't updated their calendars to the 21st century. We have had our visas declined on the basis of our lyrical content. Laughable and embarrassing. Give us a call when you get yourselves a sens- sensible secular state. P.S. If you're reading this, you're too late. We already corrupted your use and played Kutching last year. Well, I guess they were a little late on that one. Here's another interesting one, Sabaton. Well, they were banned from Russia. It uh, uh, looks like their lyrics, um, they, they were going to play in 2013 at the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Stalingrad. Well, I guess Russia said their lyrics were too pro-Nazi. So, yeah, I guess nobody likes the Nazis, not even Russia, which is a good thing. I mean, we fought a whole world war over it. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty big one, too, called WW2. So, yeah, they were uh, kicked out of Russia and were not able to play at the 70th anniversary at the Battle of Stalingrad. And, uh, well, that there you have it. The Bloodhound Gang also banned from Russia. Uh, wow, I, I see a, a trend here. Well, uh, Big Brother is always watching, even in Russia. Well, especially in Russia. Well, they didn't like Evil Jared Hasselhoff. Uh, Apparently, in one of his shows that he did in the uh, Ukraine, he shoved the Russian flag down his uh, pants like he was uh, wiping himself. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, he even told the audience, you know, he says, don't tell Putin I did that. Well, I guess he had spies out there because they didn't let him go to Russia. Well, as before, this is the time is now 1753 for all civilians. It is 553 in the afternoon. And yes, we are going to get your uh, Beastie Boys in. Come back here next week. I will be here next Thursday, every Thursday, 1700 hours or 5 p.m. Hope you got home safe. Well, it's going to be time to get back to the studies here pretty soon. Till then, see you next week. Hey, hey Vaqueros, this is the Aces. DJ Diego. And DJ Sebastian. We're just a couple guys here. Trying to help you put an ace up your sleeve. Start the week right with some laughs and montage music. Get in tune and prepare for a grind. Come catch us live, noon Mondays. Here on Vaquero Radio. The, the Valley, Valley Student, Student Station. Station.